Greetings, Guardians. Alfalfa here. So today we're going to be talking about something that is a little different from the usual. This marks the beginning of my new Fundamentals of Crucible series. The purpose of this series is to condense the 3,800-some hours of experience I have between Destiny 1 and Destiny 2, most of that time spent in PvP, so that you can learn the lessons that I learned without putting in the same time commitment. So, without further ado, let's begin the first episode. The topic we're covering in this video is not particularly flashy, but it is the foundation of bettering yourself in PvP, and that topic is settings configuration. Improper settings are one of the most common mistakes that I see, particularly in new players. Such mistakes can stunt your skill growth, so it's important to have a solid understanding of which settings complement your playstyle as early as possible. Now there are some settings that you don't necessarily need to worry about, and there are others that you should concern yourself with. We will only be covering the latter. Also, I should note that these are all tips for console players. I don't consider myself to be an expert on anything related to Destiny 2 on mouse and keyboard, nor will I pretend to be. Before we begin with our first setting, it's important to understand the key principle that not all players are created equal. There are some settings that will benefit some players more than others. Thus, there will be some things that I will not give a strict recommendation on, and instead provide a general guideline for choosing your setting. One of the most talked about settings, look sensitivity, is one such setting. Lower sensitivities are optimal for high precision playstyles such as sniping, and higher sensitivities are optimal for fast playstyles such as up in your face shotgunning. I typically recommend staying somewhere within the range of 3 to 8, but it really comes down to what you're comfortable with. I find that 3 is the minimum sensitivity where the ease of making precise adjustments still outweighs the slow turn speed and 8 is the maximum value such that my fast movements don't severely compromise my gunplay. Some players like to switch between a couple of sensitivities depending on their loadouts, but I personally prefer to keep mine at a solid 6 all the time. That way I'm never constantly trying to readjust my aim. The second important setting is button layout. Obviously there's a lot of variety here. I personally play with the default setting simply because I'm used to it, but if I had to start again, I would probably choose the jumper layout simply because I have a very aerial playstyle. Recently, Bungie updated this setting so that you can make custom adjustments, but unless you're making a very minor adjustment, or have everything planned out to a T, I would recommend sticking with one of the preset button layouts. Third, controller vibration. Some people like it on, and some like it off. The benefit of having it on is that you get that extra feedback. I personally recommend this for newer players because they aren't as experienced at getting information from visual and auditory cues. Sometimes having that third information channel is quite helpful. However, as a more experienced player who is used to drawing all my information from visual and auditory cues, I prefer to turn my controller vibration off. I don't have any data to back this up, but I feel like I am a more accurate shooter when my controller isn't vibrating in my hand. However, this of course comes down to personal preference. Finally, we're just going to zip through the last few settings because I can give a pretty solid recommendation for all of these. First of all, Auto Look Centering. This automatically centers your reticle after sprinting for a bit. Unless you're super new at this game or your sense of direction is extremely poor, I would turn this setting off. Number two, Double Press Delay. I would keep this at setting one, which is 167 milliseconds unless you're super slow at pressing buttons. Any higher setting is likely to slow you down. Number three, in the video settings, screen bounds are a matter of preference. I've seen a lot of players minimize their screen bounds to make their HUD more central on their screen. I've always just gone with the default setting, as I don't mind my HUD at the edges. Number four, sound settings. Always make sure that you keep your SFX volume at a level you can hear clearly. I also like to turn my music volume off so that I can hear the audio cues better. But once again, this is a matter of preference. And lastly, number five, reticle color. I think that any color is fine as long as it contrasts well with your environment. Like I mentioned earlier, there are a few settings that are rather unimportant, so I didn't cover these. If you have any questions regarding some of these, feel free to drop a comment and I'll do my best to respond. Well, that wraps up the first episode of the Fundamentals of Crucible series. Next time, we're going to be talking about how to improve your environmental awareness, which is obviously a pretty key episode, so stay tuned for that. And if you made it to the end of the video, please feel free to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, Guardians, stay safe, and I hope to see you in the Crucible.